So the automated scan platform I, I posted the Thingiverse has gotten a lot of attention and, and some people have asked about the automation portion of the of the uh, of the software. So I thought I'd go ahead and post my uh, my my software along with the source code and and kind of explain how everything works. So again, this is the the scanning platform. The the object itself is sitting on this on this stage. This stage has a stepper motor underneath it. It's controlled by this fidget stepper motor controller. The laser servo is here, and here is the uh, the the laser itself. I just got from Amazon.com for like six dollars. The servo is controlled by this SSC32 servo controller. The uh, that's addressed over a serial port. Of course, this is just a simple webcam. I'm using a Logitech webcam, but almost any webcam will work. And then over here on the software, this is the Visual Basic program. I'll go ahead and post the source code for this online. But uh, right, right now I have manual control over the platform, and here I, I tell it how many degrees to step. Of course, this, this will vary from stepper motor to stepper motor, but. Right now I'm, I'm doing 30 degrees, which is about 12 steps for this particular motor. And you know, if I click on this, it'll, it'll rotate the platform. You can see it move in the background there. Then the COM port for the servo controller is here. The David COM port, which is a virtual COM port, because I'm using a, uh, a uh, virtual null modem program basically. Otherwise you, you have to use two different serial ports which is kind of a waste. But that one is called COMOCOM and uh, you can just download that as free and you just set up two virtual COM ports. And then here is to control the uh, position of the servos. So the positions are, are located here. This is listed in, uh, in milliseconds. So it's 1500 milliseconds. Remember the way a servo works is the uh, is a PWM signal that goes to the servo itself. And this just sets up the endpoints for the servo. So you can adjust those endpoints here to fit whatever object you happen to be uh, trying to scan. So we'll set the top of it there. We'll set the bottom here. And just to make sure it actually fits the entire object as it rotates too. Here I can test it by just saying sweep once. It'll, it'll go through, and the time here right now is set to 30 seconds. Which may be a little too long for this demonstration. <laughs> but it'll, it'll go from the top end point to the bottom end point and back 30 seconds each way. So now it'll hit the bottom and go back up again. And that's just to make sure that the endpoints look right. And that you can use this to set up your David scanning software to make sure that the camera settings are correct because that's kind of finicky. It's, it'll, it'll, it cares about exposure and, uh, of course, all your focus settings and all that stuff. Here, I'll, I'll make this very short. So we'll do three seconds. We'll change this to 60 degrees per step just for our, our demonstration. I've been using 30, but... And uh, once you once you are happy with everything, you just hit automated scan, and it'll it'll take care of everything. So so now of course it'll be much faster. It's three seconds each way. It'll take a texture. It'll it'll erase the old data, rotate the platform, and then do it again. So again, I'll go ahead and post all this online so everybody has access to it. Feel free to modify the code and repost it if you want. Uh, but the whole idea is to, this is the way I'm doing it, and there's probably a hundred different ways to do it. So feel free to do with it what you will. <laughs>